May 24, 2015, on a Sunday at TD Ameritrade Park in Omaha, the site of the Big East Baseball Championship game. St. John's looking for their first tournament crown since 2012. Creighton seeking their first Big East tournament title. And oh, was it a classic. We picked things up in the third after Alex Caruso and Michael Donatio walked, as well as a Robert Wayman single, Zach Loricella up with the bases loaded facing Jack Regala. And Loricella laced one to the left center field gap. This one drops at the warning track, and it scores all three. Bases clearing triple for Loricella. St. John's breaking away and finding a 3 0 lead. Still with one out in the inning, Matt Harris lining one to center, and this would be enough to score Laura Sellen just like that. 4-0 St. John's in the third. Just as he was part of the action in the third, Alex Caruso coming up to the plate with two outs and some clutch hitting, finding the hole through the right side. The quick Robbie Knights rounding third and sprinting home to make it 5-0. It's all Red Storm in Omaha. Creighton starting to threaten in the fifth, getting into St. John's bullpen, but in comes Matt Clancy in the lefty, inducing a 6-4-3 inning-ending double play. The very next inning, Creighton loads the bases, and with two outs, another bouncing ball of a short, and Matt Clancy escaping another jam and retaining St. John's 5-0 lead. That didn't stop the Blue Jays from continuing to bang on the door, and they got the bases loaded in the seventh. Finally, the breakthrough. Ryan Fitzgerald with the bouncer up the middle. It scores two Jays. Creighton with life inside their home park, not going down easy. After Brent Murray delivered an RBI ground out with two outs, Kevin Connolly using his speed on a tough grounder to second, he beats it out. Creighton within a run. Ed Blankmeyer goes back to his pen with two outs, and what happens? Joe Kuja hits Daniel Woodrow. Creighton tying the game at five and sending TD Ameritrade into a frenzy. Very next batter still with two outs, and Kuja. Able to get a fly out to right, but it was a whole new ball game for the Big East Championship. Just as they did all season long, the Johnnies responded. Bottom of the seventh, two on, one out, and Matt Harris ripping one through the right side. The go-ahead run comes in. Then in the eighth, it's Robert Wayman with a drive to right center over the Creighton center fielder's head. And two come in insurance in timely fashion that would prove to be huge. In the ninth, St. John's brings in junior Ryan McCormick. Second straight day that he comes on to pitch, this time looking for his first save. But he gives up an RBI single through the left side. Then two on still, nobody out. A bouncer, 6-3 DP to clear off the bases while it brings in a run. Now there's two away with nobody on and two outs. McCormick able to get the bouncing ball to second. 4-3. For his first career save, no stage bigger than this one. St. John's, the 2015 Big East champions in tight fashion over Creighton. Their 15th straight victory, the longest winning streak for the program since 1977. And for the St. John's Red Storm, their eighth Big East tournament title. That warrants a Gatorade bat. Last spring, out in the suburbs of Chicago at the ballpark at Rosemont, the DePaul Blue Demons were looking for a three-peat of the Big East softball title, while Villanova was back in the championship game for the first time since 2003. Villanova sets the tone right off the bat in the opening inning. With runners on first and second, Lauren Hanna drives it to left field for an RBI single. Paige Rao scores and Nova takes a 1-0 lead. The Wildcats then load the bases and Julia DaCosta comes up to bat. Two outs, 0-2. DaCosta gets a piece of it and Delaney Switzer plates and Villanova is up 2-0. Top of the third now, DaCosta singles to left field to put the Cats up 3-0 before DePaul strikes back. Catcher Jessica Cawthorn likes her first pitch and she sends it deep to left field for the two-run home run. She brings home Miranda Gutierrez and the Blue Demons are down by one, 3-2. Then, with two outs, it's the freshman calm and cool Gabby O'Reilly who ties it at three with a single to right field, and the DePaul Blue Demons are alive. The Wildcats offense was on fire though, with a pair of runs in the fourth and fifth, including Angela Giampolo's 18th home run of the season, Nova's up 7-3 entering the sixth. The Cats don't stop there though. Julia DaCosta gets her third RBI of the day. Then Becky Ducar gets a crack at it, 
and it's Kendall Omen who dives back door, gets her hand in, and the Wildcats are up by six, nine to three. The Blue Demons need a rally, and Aaron Andrews does exactly that. She gets things going for DePaul, sends it to center field, bringing home Brianna Viles on an RBI double. Then Andreas gets brought in on a double by Jessica Cawthorn, cutting Nova's lead to four. And then it's the senior, Morgan Greenwood. She hits a bomb high and deep to center field for the three-run home run, bringing in Gutierrez and Cawthorn. Just like that, it's a one-run ball game. And DePaul wasn't quite done. Gabby O'Reilly connects on a line drive single, sending Kate Palucha home to tie the game up at nine. Another senior keeps this rally going. With two outs, Brianna Viles' RBI double brings O'Reilly and Angela Scalzidi home, and DePaul takes the lead 11-9 to close out the eight-run inning. And the Blue Demons are just three outs away from their third straight Big East title. Villanova would not go down that easy, though. Delaney Switzer homers to bring the game back to one 11-10. But DePaul's defense was locked in. The final out coming on a pop-up fly to right field, and the Blue Demons pull off one of the most dramatic comebacks. Their 11 runs the most in a Big East championship title game. The DePaul Blue Demons, the 2019 Big East softball champions, pulling off an unbelievable comeback and pulling off the three-peat. May 28, 2017, on a picture-perfect day from TD Ameritrade Park in Omaha. It was Xavier and St. John's for the Big East title. The past two champions in the conference squaring off, the Musketeers seeking a repeat. St. John's had other plans. Bottom of the second, Gui Jingra with a bomb to right. Not easy to do at TD Ameritrade. That set the tone for the Red Storm four pitches into the second. That was only the start in the inning for the Red Storm as they would load the bases. And John Valenti hitting this ground ball to short. No play can be made. Everybody's safe and it's 2-0 St. John's. Red Storm would add another on a Michael Donatio sack fly. We go in the fourth, Musketeers needing a rally, and Will LaRue got it started, roping a double down the right field line, and Joe Gellenbeck, who started off the inning with a walk, heading to third, Xavier in business. After a sack fly by Mitch Gallagher brought in the first run, Nate Soria pounds one to the right center field gap. That will score LaRue, and just like that, the Musketeers within a run. Matt Fallon would make it a whole new ball game with a sack fly in the next at bat. We go in the fifth when Gui Jingra's big day at the plate continued. Finding a hole through the left side, Michael Donatio scoring, then Jesse Berardi with the head first slide and pumped up. The Red Storm back up two, and they would get another. But no lead is safe against the high powered Musketeers. They would load the bases, then Connor Grammis bouncing one through the left side and cutting the lead just like that to two. After a Ryland Bannon sack fly cut it to one, Joe Gallenbeck does his job. You blink, and Xavier scores three. The game tied at six. Just as he got the first rally started, Will LaRue followed suit with two out hitting. Xavier so clutch at that. An RBI single in the seventh. Musketeers up by one. In a game with so much offense, who was going to step up on the mound? Answer, Trey Schramm, the Xavier sophomore with three strikeouts in relief duty, including the game and championship clincher. The Musketeers storming the field and starting the party. Xavier clinching back-to-back -back Big East titles. The first Big East member to do that since 2008-09. What a moment for Scott Guggen's senior class, which made it three titles out of four years. A classic with St. John's. Xavier coming out on top in a fitting place to do it. Omaha, Nebraska.